Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from DirtShark.com with another Android app review for you guys of Smart Keyboard Pro by Dexilog. Now this application is going to cost you 1.99 euros in the Android market. Not really worth it considering you can get the HTC IMA keyboard for free and Swipe keyboard for free and a ton of different Android keyboards and the Android keyboard that comes on here is almost as good as this. But if you're really into spending the money on this keyboard and if you like it, it's definitely worth it. It's one of the best keyboards on the Android market. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright guys, so when you have the app installed, you're going to tap menu and go into settings. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down to where you see language and keyboard. Tap on that and you're just going to enable Smart Keyboard Pro. When you check it, you're going to hit OK. And there you go. So now you're going to tap Smart Keyboard Pro and this is where you can get into some settings. So I can go into help and this shows me the about screen. And I can get some help as well and that will take me into the browser and load up the Smart Keyboard Pro website. I'm just going to go ahead and go back and go into some general settings like the language which I have in English, language selection key, download dictionary, show preview pop-up. I can select a skin, and this is really cool. I can select between HTC, iPhone, gray, white, and black. So I'll show you all of them starting out at Android. This is where I can change the transparency of the keyboard, enable the arrow keypad, always caps lock, show alt labels, portrait mode, smiley key, and smiley editor. Go back and go into voice input, and I can have a mic button and restart voice input. Going back, I can go into sound and vibrate. Can have sound on key press, or, uh, key press or vibrator duration, so I can put it all the way up, so I get a nice big vibrate when I actually click on a key. Text prediction, uh, prediction, and this is where I can change some different things about the keyboard and punctuation and auto completing and quick fixes, capitalization, and so on and so forth. Can also select some gestures. As you can see, a ton of different toggles and closing and opening, which is very cool. Something I don't really need to do though. Backup settings, this is where I can make a backup or, or restore. And then advanced settings, I can disable the launcher icon, enable debug logs, show touch points, candidate color, slide pop up keyboard, space preview, which I'll turn on, force Latin layout, RTL suggestions, I can clean the used dictionary. So a ton of different um, settings on this keyboard. We're going to actually go into the messaging app, go into a new message. And as you can see, it won't be enabled. You're going to have to long press the text field. Hit input method and tap Smart Keyboard Pro. And here we have the Android theme. Now, if you want to do a quick little jump into the settings, you can long press the 1.123 uh, key and you saw the Android theme. Go ahead and go back into the skin and hit HTC. And I'll go back into settings. Here we have the HTC theme, which personally I like the best. But just to show you guys the other different skins on here, go back into the skins. Go to iPhone. There you got the iPhone skin, which to me doesn't really look like the iPhone. Um, both my parents have the iPhone, so I would know. Um, going back into the skins, you have the gray skin, which is what it used to become uh, come stock with. Smart Keyboard Pro skin right there. And uh, jumping back in, we'll go back into general settings, select skin. We'll go into white and just show you guys the white skin right there. Um, again, I don't really like this. It's it's kind of hard to use unless you're into this. It's kind of hard to see the actual keys you're pressing though. Go back in here, select skin, and we'll choose black. Go back, and it's the same thing but just in black. So again, I'm going to go to the HTC skin and start typing away to show you guys the typing experience on here. So here's the keyboard. Again, it does indeed work in the landscape. We can rotate it. And I'm just going to type in, this is a test. And there we go. This is a test. So it does work quite well, which is definitely good. Another cool feature about the keyboard is I can, I can long press a key to get the default on the secondary action. So example, there's a Q1. If I long press Q, I get the 1. Pretty cool feature. So if I want to type in, this is a test, exclamation mark. This is a test. Um, I'll just go and do that again since I messed up. This is a test, exclamation mark. There we go, and it put the exclamation mark in there without me having to go into here and then tap exclamation mark, which is a really, really cool feature. Let's go ahead and switch into the portrait mode and type that again. This is, and we'll go ahead and see if I can get it without mistake. This is a test. So as you can see, not as accurate there because the autocorrect does not seem to work very well at all. See this, this work is a test. 
So typing a slight bit slower does indeed work, but just all in all, typing as fast as you can, this is a test, uh, doesn't often work. You see, teat isn't, I'm not sure if that's a word that makes sense to the Android dictionary, but to me, it should be able to figure out that you want to test, which is right there. Um, but the keyboard experience is actually pretty decent. Alright guys, so in my opinion, it's not really worth it to download from the Android market considering you have to buy a keyboard that is not as good as the real keyboard that you can get for free. Um, but in all in all, it is a pretty decent keyboard. It definitely is one of the most responsive keyboards and extremely fast when you actually click a button. And there's a ton of different settings that most keyboards do not give you. But just all in all, the typing experience itself when you get into it isn't as good as HTC IME or even the default Android keyboard. This is Al. You guys probably know me at my YouTube channel. It's Android Mode, so make sure you guys subscribe over there for DroidShark.com, and I'll see you guys in my next video.